Welcome to AmeenAcademy.com. In engineering mechanics regarding friction, we will do equilibrium of a body on a rough inclined plane subjected to a force acting at some angle with the inclined plane. Here, the force P1 is acting with some angle theta to the, to the inclined plane. We discuss in this in two cases. In first case, body at the point of sliding downward. Here, because the body, the W, just starts slide downward means the force of friction is acting upward towards the inclined surface. Here, the minimum force. minimum force required to stop sliding equal P1 Newton. Here let us resolving the forces horizontally sigma h equal to 0. Here first P1 cos theta plus F1 cos theta plus W cos 270 minus alpha. Here that R1 will not take part in the horizontal resolving. Therefore, we can uh, simplify P1 cos theta plus F1 cos theta cos 270 minus alpha is minus sine alpha that is minus W sin alpha equal 0. Therefore, we can write P1 cos theta equal W sin alpha minus F1 cos theta. Here we can write one more time P1 cos theta equal W sin alpha. We know that F1 is mu R1. R1 is a normal reaction. Here, here theta, uh, here cos 180 here. F1 is 180 degrees. Now, cos 180 is minus 1. Therefore, we can write P1 cos theta equal W sin alpha minus mu R1. Keep equation 1. Now, resolving these forces vertically means perpendicular forces are we are resolving now here same p1 sin theta and r1 sin 90 and w sin 270 minus alpha equals 0. Here P1 sin theta sin 90 is 1 therefore R1 then sin 270 minus alpha is minus cos alpha therefore minus W 
cos alpha equal 0 therefore we can write r1 equal w cos alpha minus p1 sin theta put equation number 2 now substitute this value of r1 in equation 1 we get p1 cos theta equal w sin alpha minus mu r1 is w cos alpha minus p1 sin theta now opening the bracket w sin alpha minus mu w cos alpha plus mu p1 sin theta this side is p1 cos theta now p1 cos theta collecting this p1 term left side that is minus mu p1 sin theta equal w take out and sin alpha minus mu cos alpha now p1 as a factor take out cos theta minus mu sin theta equal w sin alpha minus mu cos alpha therefore p1 equal w sin alpha minus mu cos alpha over cos theta minus mu sin theta now let us substitute the co uh, coefficient of friction that is mu is in terms of tan phi where phi is the angle of friction now therefore p1 equal w sin alpha mu we can write as tan phi into cos alpha over cos theta minus mu mu instead of mu we can write tan phi into sin theta we will continue here p1 equal sin alpha w into w into sin alpha tan alpha tan phi we can write as sin phi over cos phi into cos alpha over cos theta minus instead of tan phi we can write as one more time sin phi over cos phi into sin theta now actually you can write uh, w here the general it's a p here now p is equal here take common lcm is cos phi and cross multiply we can get sin alpha cos phi minus cos alpha sin phi over here cos theta into cos phi minus sin theta into sin phi into w here cos sin a cos b minus cos a sin b we can write sin a minus b that is alpha minus phi over cos 
cos theta cos phi minus sin theta sin phi you can write sin cos theta theta plus phi into w equal p here the minimum force required to stop sliding downwards is p equal sin alpha minus phi over cos theta plus phi into w similarly we can prove in second cases in second case here maximum force required to stop slide maximum force required to pull the body upward along inclined surface here the frictional force acting downward now if you follow the previous cases of uh, taking sigma h that horizontal resolving horizontal forces and vertical forces after uh, simplifying we get p2 the force required to just pull the body upward means uh, along the uh, inclined surface equal we can get w into sin sin alpha cos phi plus cos alpha sin phi over cos theta cos phi plus sin theta sin theta sin phi we get p2 equal w sin a cos b plus cos a sin b is sin alpha plus phi over cos theta minus phi so this is a maximum force required to pull up, upward just the body start to move upward the force required is p2 